1988 Southwind by Fleetwood. It's got 39,000 miles. I got the generator running. Runs great. Motors a Ford 460. This is also a John Deere chassis. And this sides of this is delaminated like most uh, even the new ones do that. So it's got some rippling on the side. But you know, I'll really do that. Does need new tires. Tires are a little dry rotted. But it runs really good, drives good. 1988. Let's go inside. Now you have stairs come down automatically. You got a screen door. Okay. A bit. Now. The headliner is notorious for drooping, which is what we have going on in this RV. But uh, it's got these really cool cabinets. Looks like wicker or something, but. And they all have a push button. Little opening down here hidden. Push, push it up to open. That way when you're going down the road, they don't fling open. Nice stove. This is a Magic Chef. Looks brand new on the inside. It's gas. Or propane, if you want to say. It's got this little extra countertop piece for the sink. Walk on the front here. Okay. 39,313 miles. AC works in here. The generator works. A little cup holder. It's got a little glove box to keep all your information. Got a, a little fan up there. Um, I guess this is a backup monitor. Maybe just a TV. I don't think we have a. a it has a camera. It's just an old TV. You probably want to replace. Now, it does have a leak, which is right here. Um, and it's caused a little bit of a little bit of rot in here, which has caused this to kind of shake this whole little cabinet right there. Um, so it has had a little bit of water damage up front here, but everywhere else is solid it's not leaking on this side or in the back um, all the lights work uh, this ac blows really nice it's a really nice ac feels great in here it's a carrier um more cabinet space let's open those up here oh. this is a ac selector which AC to run. You have your little dining table with storage underneath, like every other camper. More storage. Okay. And like I said, the headliner is drooping, which is something you'd have to fix. Little mirror there. Oh, uh, let's go back. Microwave's brand new. It's never even been used. This is a, uh, a newer fridge that's been put in this unit, but we are missing a little handle right here to latch it. So that's something you'd have to order from the medic, but it's a really nice fridge. Open that up so you can kind of see the inside. It's never even been used. Really nice. Um, we have a storage right here for the kitchen, kind of like a pantry. And then you have your privacy screen. 
blocks off the bedroom from the front of the place in case you have company. And then you got a closet here. Here's your latches right here. I got pillows and comforters in here. But here's some more information on it. 1988. This one opens up the same or closet space. And you have drawers at the bottom. You have a queen size bed. And uh, you have cabinetry on both sides. And lights and drawers. And then back here, you just got your this will be your heat. Okay. Um, this is a Coleman unit. Uh, it powers on, but the blower motor is not working in it so you might could fix it it might be something simple as a, com a capacitor i haven't fooled with it i may fool with it if uh you know no one's interested in this unit um but here's a little panel too sorry i'm being sporadic and running around this thing it's not really a ordered review or whatever you want to call it video i just kind of jumping around here it's pretty cool. Uh, the owner of this had it for a very long time, used it to come down to Myrtle Beach, and he just didn't want it anymore. So, trying to get rid of it. Here's your bathroom. Okay, you got a toilet here. Okay, a sink, some cabinets. Your uh, shower is actually pretty nice. It's got a nice bar that you can kind of get in and out with like a grip bar which is pretty cool it needs to be clean I haven't done that yet but then you got right here a rack on the inside of the door um let's see if I missed anything yeah this dinette table like everyone else turns into a bed okay and then also this couch also turns into a bed uh, it's not a pull-out bed it actually here, I can actually pull it down here. It's gonna. I think they call this a J bed or a J something pull out bed, J knife, something like that. But basically, it's a bed, and then you just push your cushions close. Pretty much how that works. <clears throat> That's that. Um, yeah, like I said, it needs. Um, it needs a little bit of TLC, but, you know, it's actually a really nice little RV. It'd be a nice place to live. Someone put a little time into it, a little effort. Doesn't really need much. It runs great. Um, the carpet's in deep, decent shape. We haven't had it washed or uh, steam cleaned. You could actually get a carpet cleaning company to come do it probably for 20, 50 bucks. Uh, but the main thing I would fix first would be the headliner and it's a common issue is come out of the strips you can see right here here's a strip right here you can see perfectly uh, it just slips inside of this a little dirt on my hand it slips inside of the these little pieces here and I'm not sure how to do it not gonna do it I'll leave that up to the next person to do it. Um, but like I said, this is a very nice motorhome for the age. It's got very low miles. Um, your battery disconnect, I saw it somewhere in here. But there is a battery disconnect um, in the, or, oh, it's right here, right above the door. Yeah, that would be your battery disconnect. Uh, turn your batteries off and on so that's pretty much that but it does need the headliner fixed it does need a new set of tires and that's pretty much it uh, oh, this AC unit needs to be tinkered with you might get it to go with uh, really if it's cutting on and it's just a blower not blowing the air then it's just the blower motor or a capacitor and I'm positive about that um, so there's probably nothing wrong with that Coleman unit. It's just it needs somebody to service it. And once you do that, those little things, and you get the uh, 
headliner fix, this would be a really, really nice place here. Uh, here's your, by the way, here's your uh, panel to check everything. This is a little fan that works your oven. It's not coming on for some reason. I don't know. Probably because I got the batteries disconnected. Okay, there's your pump for your water. That works. Okay, heater. That would work, but you got to have your gas on. Uh, holding tanks. You hold that down. It tells you. Okay, holding tanks empty. Number two. It's also empty. Your fresh water. do anything I don't think I think it's empty battery one check your batteries it says good battery one says low so obviously you want to fix that LPG that's your gas and it's gonna tell you how much gas you got and that's pretty much it so call and make an offer on this Fleetwood Southwind with 39,000 miles. You're buying it as is. Come check it out. Um, if you have any more questions, call 843-455-1829. 843-455-1829.